You're about to see a video of a man tell you about his experience of seeing the very first airplane flight in history. The year was 1903 and the man's name was Frank Wood. At the time, the Wright brothers had already been experimenting with what they called full-sized gliders, but none of the attempts up to that point were successful in achieving actual powered air flight. Being born sometime in the 1870s, Mr. Wood entered into the Pennsylvania Military College in the late 1890s. Not long after, however, he was called off to duty to fight in the Spanish-American War, where he was commissioned as a first lieutenant. After the war, Mr. Wood decided to open up a car garage, and through mingling with the car racing enthusiasts of the time, he met a man named Barney Oldfield, who was a famous car racer back then. Mr. Oldfield's claim to fame was being the very first driver in history to drive a car one mile in one minute, thus achieving 60 miles per hour, which was a big deal back in those days. Here's a picture of Mr. Oldfield sitting in one of his race cars in 1902, and you probably recognize the man standing next to him. That was a very young Mr. Henry Ford, who was at the time just tinkering around with race cars. The creation of the first Model T that he would completely change the world with was still a few years away. So one day in the late autumn of 1903, Mr. Oldfield and Mr. Wood traveled together to a farm in a little town called Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Apparently one of them had found out about the experiments that the Wright brothers had been conducting there, and they both were quite lucky on that cold December day, for they both witnessed the very first successful test of the first airplane in history. So here he is, Mr. Frank B. Wood, to share with us his experience on that fateful day in 1903. The interview took place sometime in 1975. Well, we just saw the back end of it sticking out of this barn. <coughs> and they said, here's our flying machine. Oh, I said, it was a mowing machine. And they said, no, it's our flying machine. Well, it was a good, darn good big kite. That's what I thought it was. We had a little bit of trouble with the ignition. That was making break. Nothing but two pieces of metal striking together. And we got it to go in, and Wilbur said, let's try it. Well, he had built a track, he and his brother, up this hill. And under this airplane was one wheel, and it fitted in this track. We got it top the hill, and... Got her started up and running all right, and, and Wilbur laid down to fly it, steered with his arms and feet. Barney said, let's go, and we shoved it off. He was yelling all the while, let's go, let's go. And it went. I could run as fast as it was running when it left the ground. I knew it would fly, I knew it was light enough, and they had power. I could fly a barn door if I had enough power. He was in for the Philadelphia Ledger, I think it was. He said, what are they going to do with it? I said, they're going to show it to the dear public, sell it to the government, and build a lot of them someday. Oh, he said, you're crazy and he'll go by. 